Okay, I know it's crazy, but here's how I get that extra 16 ounces of water in early in the morning. So here's how it works for me. By the way, I have my shower on very quiet so that you guys can hear me talk. So I just had a cup of coffee, and that is done. So now I have my iPad set up with a show that I watch while I'm in the shower, and I just pick one of these podcasts or whatever you call them, daily broadcasts, and I listen to it while I'm in the shower. It's usually 20 to 30 minutes. So there's that, and then you see right here, I have my window open so I can hear the birds singing, and you see how close my water, that's my water right there, is to my shower. So honestly, I will drink that while I'm in the shower because it's so close to just open it up and grab it, and by the time my hair is conditioned and I've watched most or all of this show, then I will have drank all of that water. So that's how I do it. Okay, I just got out of the shower and you guys see what I'm dealing with here? Holy moly, this is why, you know, for you, those of you who have curly hair, do you know, like, you have a certain amount of window of time where you get to make a decision. You, your hair is either going to be curly or straight, and there's only a certain window, and beyond that window, your hair makes the decision for you, and that is the position that I'm in. Half wet, half dry is frizz ball. Everybody, you guys have all been telling me that I need to try some Diva Curl product. If you know where to buy that, tell me. I've never heard of it before, um, but I just resort now at this point, in this stage of the game, straight is not an option, so I have to just kind of deal with whatever products I have and try to get the curl kind of bounced up a little bit. Anyway, so my water. Why do I do it that way? Well, you know what? Um, I heard a long time ago that you should drink equal amounts water to whatever you drink in terms of caffeine like coffee in the morning or if you drink tea so that's why I do that so I have usually well always a 12 ounce cup of coffee black coffee and then in the shower my turvis is 16 ounces and I figure maybe I'm hitting 12 because there's ice in it but that I re rehydrate myself that way. So you've got the caffeine, which is dehydrating, then you're in the hot shower, which is dehydrating, and then it's hot outside, which is dehydrating. So when you drink that ice water in the shower, it's easier to get it down. It's refreshing. So And also, um, it's the appropriate amount of time to condition my hair and watch the shows that I like to... Well, actually, I'm just listening, but anyway... That is why I do that. And then once I finish getting ready, I'll do that with another cup of coffee. But it just gets that extra 16 ounces of water in for me. So that's why I do it. Yet another one of Barrett's quirky thing. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm sorry I keep leaning in like this, but... Um, I, my glasses, these glasses, you guys know I usually wear contacts, but I did order some new glasses. They should be here soon, I think. Um, and I like these, but I wear progressive lenses, and I these are not cutting it anymore. I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, I needed to update my prescription. So anyway, that is why I keep leaning in so close, because I can't see you. This morning, I'm having a two-point breakfast. So this is just an Olay Wellness Wrap with one egg, a half a cup of egg whites, one piece of Velveeta cheese for one Smart Point, and Ortega hot sauce for zero Smart Point. So we're only counting the Wellness Wrap for one and the piece of Velveeta cheese. So I'm going to roll this up like a burrito. This is what I'm having for lunch. I've got here a mini street taco. That is two smart points. Then I also have a couple pieces of my leftover turkey from the other night. That is zero because this is less than two ounces. 
Then I have some cheese on here, which is not even calculating to one point. It's the Cabot Reduced Fat Sharp Cheddar. And then you can't see it, but under here, I have one smart point of garlic, everything, bagel, seasoning, hummus. So that's a boar's head product. It's not a seasoning. It's the hummus that is seasoned with everything bagel seasoning. It's really, really good. So that's going to be lunch. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I am making myself a coffee and my husband a coffee. This is his coffee because he puts this sugar-free French vanilla creamer in his. And then mine is just going to be one of these Pike Place. I drink mine black now. I used to drink a lot of creamer in mine, but I don't need more because I didn't want to waste the points. So, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Get off that creamer. So it's about 5 o'clock and my daughter, Cameron, you can wave. My daughter came by. So thank goodness for foil packed chicken. Say hi, Lane. Hi, Lane. <laughs> can you say hi? Hi. These are my hi. two hi. Hi. lights of my life in their big giant swimming pool. So anyway, we have the foil packed chicken and... That way, we are ready for surprise guests. Right, Cameron? Yes. <laughs> so, thank goodness for meal prep. Here's our cucumbers ready. Peppers are ready. Here is the foil packed chicken. Totally cooked and ready to go. And then... We have some Thousand Island Light we're going to use, and then Kevin and Cameron are going to use, Cameron is my daughter, this barbecue sauce. And then we'll come over here, and I made some quick garlic green beans and some corn on the cup. And then here's what the babies are eating, cheese pizza, macaroni and cheese, and Dominic over here. Well, he is having, um, looks like the same thing. Hi. Hi, babe. 